Doreen Virtue is well known within the New Age movement. She's since become a Christian, and now she's preaching to a new crowd. In any case, her stance has been an emphasis upon angels, especially, although presently she focuses heavily on the idea of Jesus. She makes large amounts of money from her therapies and from her claims. Her healing claims include self-help, which largely relates to her background in psychology, angel therapy, which relates back to her background in faith-based rehab, and healing done by healers, which is a common theme within New Age. Her educational background is one steeped in psychology, although many of her qualifications are not nationally recognized in the United States, or not considered to be the best qualifications for a person in a legitimate professional position. However, she is indeed a doctor of psychology, and she's had many years experience, and indeed has been published for her work in that field. Amongst her superstitions are such things as numbers, the idea of seeking out numbers and their meaning. If you see the number two throughout your day, it must have a meaning. If you keep on seeing elevens, it must have meaning. This is a kind of bad pattern seeking, but all too common within the New Age movement. She's best known for her angel cards, as well as her books. Her angel cards sell across the world, in a great many nations. They're a common feature in New Age towns and New Age shops, making her probably one of the best known names within the New Age movement. The card systems offer a basic reading or a positive idea to focus on for the rest of your day. They are separate from and distinct from tarot cards, which operate in a very different way. Unlike those, they very often have a pleasant image, a reference to an angel or ascended master, and some kind of almost poetic or philosophical saying. She's been described by fundamentalist Christians in the past as being satanic, and indeed masonic, because of some of the imagery she uses, and indeed some of the symbolism. So she isn't satanic, she isn't masonic, but she likes the symbols. This is a common theme within New Age. There are many people who've been to her performances, had readings from her. Many of those people have paid large amounts of money. They got a reading which simply did not work, and they've complained online. And they were believers, who were looking as hard as they could, and the cold reading through the cards, and from her as an angel channeler, they were heavily disappointed. You expect this with any medium, any psychic, any angel channeler, but it's simply something to take note of. No one is perfect, and evidence of this is Doreen Virtue. She claims to speak to angels, ascended masters, and even Jesus himself. She has a Christian view on life now, due to her conversion in early 2017. So it's hard to say what her beliefs are right now. She's a born-again Christian who also claims to communicate with Jesus literally, as well as to literally talk to angels, literally communicate with other beings, including those of other religions. And potentially, unless she's changed her mind, she may well still consider herself able to communicate with nature spirits and other pagan ideas. She's also a believer in magnetic therapy, so magnetic jewellery and magnetic devices on your body or near your body supposedly could bring about greater health, such as cleansing the blood. But in actuality, this therapy is complete and utter nonsense. She had her Christian awakening in January 2017. She got baptised soon after. But the question still remains. Is she a born-again Christian? Or is she simply trying to expand her audience? Has she converted, or wasn't she always kind of Christian? In her faith-based rehab, she was certainly Christian. Throughout her New Age years, she had a heavy emphasis upon the idea of God, angels, the afterlife, and Jesus as an ascended master, the most powerful, the most wise, the most divine ascended being. So many people might wonder, is she going to change? Well, she isn't withdrawing her products. She isn't shutting down her website, nor her YouTube channel. She's sticking with the angel therapy and the angel cards, despite being born again. So really, there is no great change other than this kind of, dare I say, publicity stunt in order to gather a wider audience.
That could be debated, but in any case, an interesting character. 